Do you have problems with infiltration? Are your operators spending hundreds of hours looking for infiltration using CCTV? Are your engineers frustrated too? How do you prioritize your pipes for rehabilitation when you don't know where your leaks are? I'm Jamie. This is the CCTV that you asked for. Perfect. Thanks, Amaro. You're welcome. Ugh, gosh, finally we have the CCTV. I hope this shows us where our leaks are. I hope so. We've been measuring higher flows and more SSOs, so we know that there's leaks in this area. Let's find out. I see some roots, but I don't see any infiltration. This is so frustrating. If only there was a tool that can measure leaks automatically. Well, guess what, folks? Operators and engineers no longer have to dream of a better tool. One already exists. Focus Electro Leak Location, or FEL, does just that automatically. That's right, Matt. By using this probe, which generates a focused band of electricity, you can determine not only the location of every defect in a pipe, but how much each of those defects is leaking. That's because wherever the water leaks, the electricity leaks. I think I get it. It's just like sonar. Not quite. Oh, so it's like basic profiling? Wrong again. Follow me, I'll show you how it works. In the field, Focus Electro Leak Location works in conjunction with a jet truck. The jet truck does not need to clean the pipe, it's only used to pull the probe through the pipe and provide water around the defect electrode, allowing the electric current to conduct to the pipe wall. The jet truck operator will jet from the downstream manhole to the upstream manhole to meet the fell operator. The jet hose nozzle is removed and the sliding funnel plug is attached. The sliding funnel plug holds back a 6 to 10 foot column of water around the probe. Next, the probe is attached behind the sliding funnel plug. The probe is then lowered into the pipe and the operator calls to have the jet truck turn on its water. The fell operator watches the pressure sensor readings to make sure the appropriate amount of water is achieved before starting a scan. For example, in a 6 inch pipe, 6 or more inches of water pressure is required to ensure the crown of the pipe gets scanned. Then. The fell operator finds a suitable ground and dials in the baseline current. Notice, there is no stopping or coding. This is an automatic assessment. Wherever the electric current is able to escape the pipe wall through pinholes, cracks, bad joints, or defective service connections, the defect location is recorded and measured in gallons per minute. When it reaches the downstream manhole, the scan is complete. All the data is uploaded via Wi-Fi to the Critical Sewers cloud-based application. All field operators, city staff, and engineers can view the reports immediately. Look, here's the pipe they just scanned from the field. Wow, that was so fast. And look at all of this data. The number of defects, gallons per minute, gallons per day. This is perfect. You can even sort the data. Amazing. Finally, we can tell where our worst pipes are. No guesswork, no waiting, and no visual interpretation. This will really help us prioritize our pipes so we can eliminate infiltration and reduce SSOs. Awesome! Filming now, go ahead. <laughs>